I'm going to talk about something that has little to no bearing on you. Why? Because I can. <laughs> because, uh, because it's on my mind, mostly. And you get me. And, uh, well, I mean, indirectly, it has something to do with you, I suppose. But um, it seems like every year there is a, a, a mad rush of, of indie authors, not, and some even uh, authors that are associated with the big six publishers, that uh, bemoan the fact that Amazon is doing blah, 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 blah. And Amazon's changed the blah, 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 and now we can't blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm not, that's not belittling them. Uh, it's just, there's just so much change every, almost monthly, that occurs with Amazon that affects us as artists directly. And, uh, you know, since, since the beginning of, of, of publishing through Amazon, it's been challenging as an indie artist, and I believe that this holds true for any artist, be it a, a writer or a musician, painter, whatever, um, or an indie filmmaker. It's hard to be seen, and the, part of that has to do with the fact that there are over 10 million books on Amazon. So, and, and I'm fairly certain, Muse, that that will tell you how many writers there are. And of course, you probably know because you and your fellow muses talk. And you're probably incredibly busy inspiring millions of authors. I don't know, hundreds of thousands of authors. And there are authors out there who, who do their best to try to game the Amazon system. They spend countless hours a week or month trying to figure out the algorithms. And that's fine. That's great. Let them do that. Every time I try, every time I, I, uh, I, I, I dedicate my brain to trying to figure out what the hell is going on with Amazon, I feel myself spiraling down into a state of, not depression, because this, I'm not going to let this depress me, but into a state of kind of a nihilistic feeling. Just, who cares? And it's, I've never succumbed to it. I've, I've never finally said, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. But I know authors that have. I know authors that have, that have looked at what is going on with Amazon. And, and they just, it's just this slow, steady, downward spiral into, I give up. And, and I'm not going to talk about, I, I've already discussed with you ad nauseum about giving up as an artist. But what I, what, ultimately, what I'm trying to say is, is personally, I'm going to spend my time writing. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't pretend to know this. And I, but I do know, unequivocally, that book sales are down across the board. And personally, my personal take on this is very simple. I think it's, it's, it's a lot less uh, doom and gloom than a lot of authors. Uh, you know, there are authors out there that feel that Amazon is conspiring against us, that all they want to do is, is promote the big publishers because there's more cash money in it. Um, I think it's different. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's very simple. I think that there are more writers than readers. And so this deluge of books is just making it impossible for us to, to be seen. And there are fewer and fewer writers, or fewer and fewer readers out there. And that's, there are so many options for entertainment. And the number one option people choose is television. And I understand that. At the end of the day, I've spent what, 
a good seven hours writing. And at the end of the day, I need to shut my brain off. Because if I don't, I'm not going to sleep. So I sit in front of the television and watch, watch a bit. Because it helps me. It, it, it allows me to relax. It allows me to forget <laughs> for a moment all of the stuff that I'm dealing with. And so I understand it. I'm not complaining or bemoan, bemoaning the, the scourge that is television. <laughs> because it's necessary. If we didn't have these kinds of distractions, we would all lose our collective minds. On top of which, television and film, it, it employs a lot of people. It gives a lot of people, a lot of artists out there have jobs because of television and film. And that's great. I'm not going to complain about that. Anytime, anytime an artist gets a job, anytime an artist gets a paycheck, it's a good day. Right? How anyone can complain about an artist getting a paycheck is beyond me. And sure, the paychecks coming to writers, to authors, are getting smaller and smaller. But you know what? We're still doing this. We're still getting paid to do this. Someone is out there buying our work, and that is a great thing. Yeah, sure, we would all like to have more people buying more of our books, but you know what? Write. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Keep writing good stories and, and give them the polish they deserve and publish them. Stop worrying so much about your the release date and the release parties and, and how you're going to get into also bots and all this. Just write good stories and publish them. And keep writing good stories because the best promotion you can do for your last book is to write your next book. And eventually you're going to have this big back catalog of books and someday someone, the right someone, is going to read one of your books at the right time and it's going to explode. I don't mean the book is going to explode or the person is going to explode. The popularity of your books is going to explode. And when that happens, people are going to be reading this one book that that one important person read at the right time and they're going to go, oh my gosh, this author has all these other books. I'm going to read all these books. And there you go. That is my strategy right now. I'm going to keep writing and I'm going to keep writing good stories. I'm going to polish them as well as I can between me and my, my editor and my, my proofreaders. And, 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 and I am going to keep doing that with the understanding that at some point in the future... Lady Luck is going to shine her light down upon me and the right person is going to read the right book at the right time and tell the right person and magic is going to happen. Now, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the magic will be a, a, a television or a movie option because I think that's where all the money is now. I think any author that really is, that, that is taking this seriously and knows that that there is profit to be made here, knows that the real profit is in getting film or television deal. And that's what I'm shooting for. Every book I write, I write with the idea in the back of my head that this needs to be either part of a television series or a movie. I have a plan. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's not the greatest plan, but it's my plan, and I'm going to stick to it, and I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make, I'm going to will it to happen. And I'm not going to spend all of this energy and time on trying to figure out what Amazon is doing now or is going to do next. Because I can't control that. I can control what I do now and what I do next. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rant at you, Muse. You probably hear so much of that. And I just piled on. I apologize. And I know you'd rather talk about a story, but hey, speaking of which, I'm I'm going back through the uh, uh, the third book in the Reaper series, which is now officially called Thank You Very Much, Muse, For Whom the Reap Tolls. 
And uh, you and I wrote something that didn't suck. It's pretty cool. I have to admit, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm patting you on the back more than anything, Muse, because you gave me this really great storyline for this series. So uh, thank you. <laughs> I, maybe I need to dedicate this book to my Muse. Maybe I'll do that. Wouldn't you love that, Muse? Wouldn't you love to open up one of my books and finally see me going, hey, Muse, thank you. Woohoo! All right, I'm done. You and I have talked enough. You've got, you've got more important things to do than listen to me right blather on, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Muse, have a great day. I hope that you inspire thousands. Actually, I hope you only inspire me because I want to be selfish because you're such an awesome Muse. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>